So Steve, let's talk a little bit about Sandy Weil and his incredible statement recently to the media that we should break up the banks, even though he is the one of the architects of the biggest financial institution ever, made himself a billionaire in the process. What do you think? Uh, well, it was certainly fascinating to hear yesterday. You have this enormous about face from the person who was called the father of the financial supermarket, uh, was instrumental in Glass-Steagall being repealed, and you know, although he'll, he'll say he wasn't, but uh, you know, basically allowing these investment banks to tie themselves to these big commercial banks, have a ready source of funding from depositors, and then go and make these kinds of investments and these kinds of trading strategies that we saw uh, have a big, be a big part of the 2008 meltdown. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, hypocritical is a word that jumps to mind. I mean, this is somebody who formed Citigroup with John Reed. Uh, the stock was somewhere in the $40, $47 range. Uh, now you look at Citigroup and it's $26. Now, that's a big drop, but the fact of the matter is they also had a 10 for 1 stock split in that span. So in reality, it's more like going from $470 to $26. Uh, you know, it's, I would say, too little, too late. Where was this talk in 2007, 2000, 2008 uh, when perhaps getting ahead of this thing might have prevented or at least lessened the impact of some of the problems we saw from having these enormous banks. You um, wrote about uh, Sheila Baer earlier and her uh, bold statements about uh, some, someone being held accountable here. You know, Sandy Weil is not considered uh, to be a criminal, but uh, certainly he was an architect of, uh, of the financial bubble that, that took place. Well, a lot of the discussion I had with uh, Sheila Baer, who was the former chairwoman of this FDIC, centered around the idea that whenever these big financial blow-ups happen, happen, what you see is big fines, big settlements between the banks and regulators, and a lot of times they don't admit wrongdoing, and the ultimate result is shareholder money, bank money that is that shareholders have a claim to, gets used to settle these things, instead of the people be, that are responsible for it uh, being held accountable, perhaps even going to jail. I'm not saying Sandy Weil is necessarily one of those that should have gone to jail, not at all. What I'm saying is that, and what Sheila's point is, leave these people who are actually responsible, whether you're talking about the J.P. Morgan London whale losses, whether you're talking about Barclays and the LIBOR scandal, let's see the actual people who committed, whether it was crimes or just improprieties, let's see them suffer, whether it's financially or losing their freedom. And I think that's a very fair point to make, and we haven't seen nearly enough of it in the wake of the financial crisis. Right. It all, always seems as though it's the, it's the little guy who suffers, the economy, the market. So let's talk about another little guy who suffered a little bit. Uh, Facebook earnings are coming out, and those the stockholders haven't uh, been so happy. What do you think? Leading up to Facebook today, we got a report from Zynga, which is a key partner of theirs yesterday. It was not good. That stock is at $3. It was at 12 not that all that long ago. And Facebook is falling in sympathy with that. The thing about Facebook is investors have to realize that this is Mark Zuckerberg's company. He runs it. And while he has an obligation to shareholders to run it to the best of his ability, He's the largest shareholder, and he controls more than 50% of the vote. So this is a company Mark Zuckerberg is running for himself and then the rest of the shareholders. So let's see what he says if he gets on this conference call today after the earnings. I don't know if he will or not, but I'll be interested to see what he's going to say to convince shareholders that we're all in this together versus only what he wants to do with this company.